Right. Okay. Here we are at the Kelpies. Helix Fa Park. Aye. Or Helix, Helix Park. Helix Park, aye. Like the shape, the geometric shape. Yeah. So we're here and we're going to look at the Kelpies, which is a piece of artwork that looks like some horses' heads. Yeah. And then well, Kelpies, look at that. Kelpies is the derives from Scots Gaelic, generally meaning colt, which is obviously a horse. Right. Um, it was designed by Andy Scott and it was completed October 2013. I love the Kelpies. What is it you love about them the most? I like the structures, I like the height of them. You can see them from the M8 motorway, which is such a beautiful structure. <coughs> They've got Excuse me. Bless you. They've got names as well. Um, Have they? Mm -hmm. Horse one and horse two. Yeah. <laughs> Duke is the one with the head that's down. Right. And um, the other and, one's and called... Nissan Almira is the, the other, other one. The other one's got its head up is called Baron. Similar one of them still alive. The other one's dead. What? You know, from the structures, from the from two the two kelpies, the the horses that they took the structure. Oh, from. the original. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Oh, so one of them's that. retired in a field, and the other ones, unfortunately, died. Um, Why don't they bring them here? People can give them. Cheap. They have. They were oh, here right, originally right. when they first opened, but they're thirty meters high, so they're really, really high, and seemingly they weigh three hundred tons each. Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? It's and incredible. you can go inside them as well. You pay to go inside them. <gasps> and there's a, you know. Um, and there is a tour guide that talks you through, you know, they go into the... And explain about it all. Inside and explain it all about the Kelpies and, you know, mm -hmm. two, obviously the horses that, that pulled, that opened for the, the, the canal. Um, right, so the whole point of them being here uh, is it's linked to the historical nature of That's the correct. canal, the canal. So the fourth canal, which links into the Clyde Canal as well. So that's. I that's, thought it was the fourth and Clyde Canal. Yeah, fourth and Clyde Canal. That links into connects. the Union Canal. Is it? I, I'm no expert on the area, mate. I'm guessing. Uh -huh. I think that's how it works. Well, Union Canal is towards Edinburgh, I presume. That's isn't right. It? And then the, the fourth and Clyde must be to the west. Is that right? Yeah, the Clyde is certainly. Okay, so that's probably wrong, but we'll GPS we'll check that later on. Lost. Oh, well, that's a GPS signal lost. Well, that's a shame. We're lost. Help! <laughs> no, we'll be fine. Right, we know where we are. Right, yeah. so moving on from that, we're going to go down the canal. We'll have a little walk. To Falkirk uh, uh, Wheel. Falkirk. Falkirk Wheel. Because mm -hmm. I've never been to Falkirk Wheel before. I've been to the Kelpies now. This is my third time. Oh. Um, so I love it every time. So let's see how we got on anyway. Aye, but we'll um, update you when we get there because it's, uh, we need to we're get gonna on. We're going to be here. quick because so far the weather is nice, but it's seemingly going to rain later. So we're going to get out and about as quick as we can. Toodaloo the new. Aye. Toodaloo the new. Bye bye. Bye
Right, that's where we are now, the Kelpies. Then we're gonna go boop -ba -doop -ba -doo, doop -ba -doop -ba -doo, wee doop -ba -doop -ba -doo, to Falkirk Wheel near Bonnie Bridge. So we'll see what's not gonna boot. Well I'm disappointed because I brought my bikini today. very nice here but there are big questions I want to know who is a slut because I'm left asking now talk about a cliffhanger Doing a wee video to celebrate the lovely Scottish birthday. Aye, ah, hey. <laughs> Look, it's lovely. Fantastic. Look at that. I love a bit of rain. Sunshine in the background. <laughs> We're having a look. Can you see the rain on the water? <laughs> so here we are on the walk, and the weather's changed, but who cares? Just keep going. Bye. got one mile to go. Thank goodness it's absolutely pouring down. But anyway, um, I'm not really thinking this is a nice part of the canal. I find it very um, industrial. Uh, there's definitely a lot nicer parts to the canal than from the Kelpies towards Falkirk Wheel. Uh, <laughs> what a nice wee boat here though, look. This seems to be I'm in a slightly nicer part, so oh, soon up the But this is typical of the weather we've been having this year in Scotland or Britain for that sake. Um, and if you were to stay in because of the rain, you'd never go out. So get out and trail trek in the pouring rain.
Well, the weather gets a 2 out of 10. You probably can't see, but if you look at the water. <laughs> it's been raining for about an hour. And who's this? There's a, there's a, a wild, wet animal. <laughs> uh, this is bonkers. Has this made you wild and wet? <laughs> I've just been saying there that if you didn't go out, if the rain kept you in, then you'd never go out. Right. Drips coming off. Uh, I've got them coming off my nose and all. <laughs> this isn't nearly as bad as the bit I did at uh, Tynemouth. I'll tell you what, it's a lovely smelly burning wood though. It's from there. It's from that ship there. Mm -hmm. I see it coming off. Come on, come in. Uh, come on, come in. It's bloody soaking. Right, finally we made it to the Falkirk wheel. Now, queue for the toilets, queue for the cafe, queue for the boat. They should call it the uh, the Falkirk queuing area. So obviously it would be better in nicer weather, but looks knackered. What's all that black stuff? Anyway, we might see it working, but literally all it does is it takes ships sorry boats from one level to another so that's the high level over there and this is the water level here so it's an extreme version of a lock really but it's fantastic design uh, so we'll see if we can get a shot of it working
Telescope. Ah, I can't wait to see the views. Hang on a minute. Oh, 50 pence. Right, let's zoom in for nothing, eh? Ah, there, just save 50p. Ah, and back again. There you go. 50p saved. That's a bit much. 50p? Get real. Hang on, it's stopped raining for at least 10 minutes, 15 minutes it's stopped raining. So we're, well, we're heading back now because we've been drenched and wrung out, so it's time to go back. And luckily, I had a fleece. So you're doing all right, aren't you? Just. <laughs> just, <laughs> just this time. So we've come Falkirk wheels all the way back there, and we're heading down that way to uh, the Kelpies. And you've missed the kingfisher again. Aye, I'm, I'm annoyed. Every time I see a kingfisher, you get the camera out, nothing happens. And who's this greedy bugger coming? Look. Who's he? He's quackers there. Look at him. Anyway, let's make some progress because we've got to go four bloody miles to go, so we'll get there, won't we? Right, survival grub reviews. <laughs> Biltong, <laughs> marinated in hot chili and warm spices. <laughs> so if you're a wild man in the Canadian uh, mountains, this is what you live off. And you've got a Tesco's. Mm. Mm, no, don't eat, don't eat that. <laughs> right, marks out of ten for shoe leather. <laughs> Cut for 10 minutes and come back. <laughs> <laughs> when it's digested. It's rock hard, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't mind preserved meat, but the extreme end of the scale is built on, really. It's jerky and it's rock hard. Building it's, up. So it's like old leather. Mm -hmm. Good protein, no? Aye. Whee. Right, back of the review. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's got good flavour to it. Ah, it's spicy, isn't it? Very nice. Right, whilst we're noshing on the biltong, there's a deer. You enjoying that? <laughs> ah, so there's a deer there. Not bothered.
<laughs> right, nine and a half miles later, we're finished. So let's let's recap. We got to Helix Park, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Then we saw the Kelpies, which is a piece Wait, of art. Wait, before the Kelpies, what did we see? Why oh, a tiny vole thing. Oh, he was my wee pal. And instead of him running away, he was just hanging about. Well, you'll see the photographs in the wee video. Yes, we've got video. And what of did you name him? Voldemort. Yes. So and I tried to pick him up. And he went, eek! And the wee hand came out and we fed him bread. He was too cute. Not scared at all. Not bothered. Just sat there. Letting us feed him wee bits of bread and a wee clover, and it was lovely. Aye, and then Aww. he just scurried off. To take him home. And we've seen a lot of wildlife. We've seen deer, mm -hmm. Voldemort, um, all sorts of things, all sorts. Duck, loads of ducks. Ducks, different types of ducks. So, Near right, hens. Kelpies, marks out of ten. Right, well, God, I'm going to give the Kelpies always nine plus. Nine? Yeah, I love the Kelpies. Crumbs. Never been at night time. Um, I'd love to go at night to see what it's like lit, lit up at night. Well, we'll um, have, we'll there's have... also a, a 5k run, if you're ever interested, the Kelpies run. I don't know what month it's in, but there is a 5k Kelpies run, Good. which I think would be interesting That's as well. Handy. And as you know, 5 So 5K you give it 9 out of 10, I'll give them 6. Right, okay. Does that shock you? Uh, yeah, a bit, actually. Just, like Why? A, just some horses' heads. I know, but it's the work and everything that's been put into it, the, the height of them, the... I just think they're magical, the story behind the Kelpies. Mm -hmm. I just think they're lovely. I love, but I love horses anyway. I always have since I was younger. So, so that's going to boost the score, I would say. Yeah. So nine, I'm nine plus. I'm uh, very happy giving it nine plus. And then we walked all the way along the, the fourth Union and yeah. Clyde Canal, uh -huh. all the way along to the is it Falkirk or Falkirk? Falkirk. Okay. The Falkirk Wheel. The Falkirk Wheel. And at first, I, when I when I saw it from the side, I thought, is that it? Mm -hmm. It just looked like an old load of... I've never been to the Falkirk Wheel before, that's my first time, but I, yeah, I think it's a but great by the piece of engineering. Well, by the time I went up to the top and had a proper look at it, I could appreciate how it worked and the yeah. the aesthetics of it. But when you first see it, and it, because it was raining, we got absolutely drenched, because it was raining, I just went, oh, yeah, is two, that it? Two miles walking in the rain, we were soaked, but we still had a joke and a laugh about it, apart Aye. from becoming freezing cold when you stop. Ah, you, you got a bit of chill, didn't you? Yeah. So... As a total for a walk, if you st a nine and a half mile walk from the Kelpies to the Falkirk Wheel, Wheel. and back, mm -hmm. what marks out of ten as a total? As a total, right? Okay, marks out of ten. The uh, the Kelpies are right up there. The Falkirk Wheel, I'm going to give for engineering and the, the purposes of it, eight out of ten. For the actual walk on the canal, you'll see the video that I said. Not impressed by that part of the canal at all between the Kelpies mm -hmm. to the Falkirk Wheel yep. to Industrial. It's noisy, it's there, it's not. No, nah, I'm sorry, you've got to cross roads, you've got to go up and then on a busy road. No, I've been in a, a lot more nicer parts of the canal because I used to use the canal as part of training mm -hmm. for running. So it's not enough of a trail, it's more of a route. Yeah, it's too p industrialized. So I've seen a lot of the canal. Right. Other parts of the canal, but I'm. So, I would give. Sorry, well, I'm sorry, I, Falkirk. Well, well, I know, but you're just being honest. Mm -hmm. Nobody can have a go if you're being honest. Yeah, I mean, I would Falkirk's give it, got a lot more to offer. Uh huh. As a total, then. Out, so, for, as a total, that's what you asked me. Aye. Uh, if someone was considering this walk, in the right? Walk. Okay, six. And um, the reason I'm going to give it a six plus is because of the kelpies, because I love them. Right. I would. I, I would definitely recommend going seeing them. I would give it seven. Okay. That's... But that's because I, you can see deer, mm -hmm. bulls, you know. It, it, yes, it's industrialised, but that's just the way it is. It is what it is, so tough. And mm -hmm. it's a nice long distance, and it's maintained paths that you can use, and you don't have to become like a triple jump champion to get over the bloody puddles yeah. and things like that. But well, we are tired after nine and a half. I feel exhausted. I feel ill. That's not. I mean, uh, nine and a half miles isn't. In, it's nothing to us. We, we did nine. Do, we did nine two days ago. We can ago. do that. Not a problem at all. That's just a normal day. But anyway, um, for some reason today we're both a bit tired. But I think it's because we got caught in the rain and. 
Uh, it was an hour, about an hour of been rain. Blustery. So um, and then we were blown dry, blow dry. <laughs> yeah. And then walked it off. So what? So oh, was it what was it? Six plus. Six and I, plus. I give it seven. So take that with a pinch of salt. Yeah. So Aye. there you go. Have a I shot yourself. Aye. And get out. Get out. <laughs> bye. Please. Bye. Right. One more thing before I forgot. When you come in, you go in the first car park on your left. Otherwise, if you go all the way around to the next car park, they charge you. What a rip off. Mm -hmm.